Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So I'm super excited about the Solana price chart because what we have here is a cryptocurrency that in my opinion is of the ones that I do follow is probably the one that is closest to bottoming out. And I did say that yesterday to the channel members on the Telegram channel. Um, on the Telegram live chat that Solana is really based on this wave count here, which has become super likely and actually has been confirmed, the one that I have on the chart here, um, that it really is the one that is closest to bottoming out. And therefore it is so important to pay very close attention now to any bullish signals. And because a few people always ask, what does it mean to bottom out? Well, it just means that the overall correction is in my opinion nearly finished yeah uh, that is how it's looking like of course i don't have a crystal ball and therefore what we want to see we've got a series of price targets here that we can look at and i'm going to take you through that how we how we come to these price targets and then we can um, wait until these price targets are reached and we can wait for a bullish reaction okay so currently below $40. So this wave count that I mentioned to you here in the previous video is still valid. Yeah, that we come down here in a one, two, three, four, five down. Yeah, of all the cryptos that I cover, I think Solana is one of the few which actually really started the impulsive wave down here on the 17th of May. That is what I thought temporarily for Ethereum as well, for ADA, for Bitcoin as well. But they all then eventually created this WXY pattern and Solana didn't. Um, and that means for Solana that it is much closer to the completion of the correction, in my opinion. Yeah. So we've got here now um, this impulse, which is still valid. Yeah, we are actually here in some kind of a channel. We can note that as well. And let me take some of the lines out because they can get some a little bit confusing. So with the break below that $40 level here yesterday, that triangle scenario that I had on the chart as well has been validated, which is good. So this impulse down, which I still had on the chart, is finally confirmed. Um, no, nothing is ever 100%, you need to understand that as well, but it is currently very likely. So, um, bigger picture here yeah, quickly. Why do I think that the correction is nearly over? Well, because based on the Elliott wave count, we are here now in a fifth wave of a fifth wave in green of, go to the daily chart, um, of this Y wave, which belongs to the double zigzag correction. So W, X, Y. Yeah, this is what we have here on the Solana chart. We have a W, X, Y, a, w, a double zigzag pattern. And um, in this last wave down, a Y wave, we are also in the last fifth wave. That is how I see it at the moment. And this double zigzag is part of a wave two correction, a higher wave degree wave two. And you know, um, it's quite interesting really, to see that a cryptocurrency that um, was coined as Ethereum killer has really retraced down nearly 90%. Um, but again, it's part of it's part of the game. Yeah, it's part of the game. And fundamentals, as you know, fundamentals usually don't have much to do with price movements. It is fear and greed. It is sentiment that is moving the markets. It is not necessarily fundamentals. Yeah, and um, that is what we can see here currently in the crypto market. I told you back in November already that we are going to come down here much, much lower, all the way down to 55, I think was at the time my target. Well, we even went below that, but I did adjust the target at some point to 55, to 30. And this is now where we are in. Who would have thought back then that this will really be reached? Um, we finally did reach it. And from a higher level wave point of view, yeah, the, the overall correction target has been reached anyway. So what I told you back in November, December, and then refined later, um, in the downtrend has been reached. So what is very important to understand that from a correction point of view, Solana has done what it needs to do to do the correction, to complete the correction. And it is ready, just technically, it is ready to move back to new all-time highs. 
not telling you it's going to do it as yet, but it is ready technically. Yeah? And I already told you that if this here is a wave one and we're now coming down in wave two, which I think the wave three to the upside, the next one should take us to at least an area between 400 and $450 and possibly even more. Yeah? Just based on Fibonacci extension targets, that is sort of the longer term outlook. But now that we've reached the higher level target, it's important to understand what are we doing here in the small scale. And as you can see here, wave three in green was finished. So wave three of Y of that double zigzag was finished here on the 12th of May. We came up in a wave four. This was most likely finished as well as this impulse to the downside is unfolding. And this wave five in which we currently are, well, yeah, for this, there are certain price targets that we need to understand. So first of all, the minimum price target that it would need to reach is below $35 and um, 30. And the reason for that is that this is the wave three here. And we in a wave five to do the minimum that a five wave five needs to do is to get actually below that level at $35 dollars yeah or 35 dollars and 30. so if we are here in a wave five we need to make it lower than that wave three what is another price target well one more price target would be to take the length of this wave so we have here a wave a a wave b and we are in the wave c in green so a price target for this would be the 1.618 fib extension of the wave a so we go down to the low of the wave a and the price target would be the 1.618 extension. Now, that is $38. That's pretty much where we currently are. Um, what we need to realize is the 38, and you can see how relevant that level was. You can see it already. We touched it yeah, and came higher. The problem is that this target is above the $35.30 level here, so we can't really use that target. Yeah, um, not in this wave count. We can't use that target because it's a bit too high. Yeah, but um, this is still something we need to look out for. And another price target would just be to take here the white wave one and the wave two target and use the um, 1.618 Fibonacci extension level for that. So we do that as well. And here, this one would take us also to $38. So you can see there are a few things pointing towards $38, which is probably why we found some support there. The problem is this is a bit shorter than the wave three. Now you get these truncated waves. You can get a wave four, five that is a bit shorter than a wave three. So we need to understand that we are possibly really close to the completion of the correction. So what I could imagine is that we might come down to the $35 level here, which would also be the support level of the channel. And then to be honest, Solana has a good chance to turn around, but we need to wait for a bullish signal. So this is really interesting. Um, we can drop still lower. Yeah. And um, I highlighted here in light blue that based on what we are doing here um, on the previous wave count, we could have dropped down to $20. Now, I'm taking that out now based on the price targets of $38 that I've just shown you. Based on that, um, things point towards that $38 level, but I would still think we should reach at least 35. And one more price target is of course the lower end of this orange target area, which is the $30 level, which is the 88.7% FIP level. And I think only if we break below that, then the $20 level will get realistic. And that was purely a technical target based on support and resistance. But at the moment, I have to say to you, based on this wave count, it is looking like that this correction could be finished soon, but only if when we hit this target here at $35, and I don't think 38 will be enough, but if we hit that at 35 or even 30 down here, if we see a bullish reaction at one of these, then we can be, well, we need to look much closer then because it could mean that we've reached the low. Yeah. So this is something that we, I will observe in the next few days very, very closely because it's getting very, very interesting here for Solana at the moment. Yeah, and this is currently my point of view about the Solana chart. Hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.